All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is tangents and circumscribed angles again. Okay, so this is uh, part two of module 19.3, and we're going to have a worksheet uh, at the end of this. So if you are in our classes, uh, the worksheet will be at the end. You'll have to pause it to uh, write the problems down. Okay, so what do we know about tangents to a circle? Okay, so here we go. So find uh, the segment lengths integrated and assume that lines appear to be tangent are tangent. Okay, so if they're tangent, that makes a right angle slash right triangle slash Pythagorean theorem. So it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So if this whole length is 5 right there, and this part of it right here is 3, which makes this part 3, because these are both radii of a circle. And when the radii are equal, you can put a 3 there. So, so this is going to be 3 plus blank equals um, that 5 right there. So that blank must be the 2 right there, okay? All right, so here's another one right here, okay? So I think I'm going to just give it a variable r, you guys. I'll go ahead and make it r. So um, if that's uh, the radius, this is a radius also right here, okay? So we can let it be x or any other letter. We can let keep it the question mark right there, but that tends to confuse kids when we use a question mark as a variable. So I let it be r for the radius right here, okay? So if that's r, then the whole length is 6 plus r or r plus 6. And then we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. This square plus this squared equals this guy squared right there, okay? Now we got to foil that out. I did that up here, okay? So r plus 6 squared is r plus 6 times r plus 6. So first times first is r squared. Outer times outer is 6r. Inner times inner is 6r. And then finally, last times last is 36. So when we add these together, we get that 12r right there. Okay, now the r squareds cancel each other out on both sides. And then we subtract 36. Okay, we're going to get a decimal. That's okay. Uh, we can have decimal lengths right there. So r, which is our question mark, is that 3.75. Okay. All right, so they make right triangles and right um, uh, uh, Pythagorean theorems we can do on there. So here we go. We'll go ahead and let, uh, uh, let this be x right there, okay? So if this is 8, that's 8. So the whole diameter is 16 right there. All right, so this is a 3, 4, 5 P triple right there, except it's uh, times 4. Okay, 3, 4, 5 times 4. 3 times 4, 4 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20, so x equals 20, and x is my question mark right there. So this whole um, blue line right there is telling me that's what the question mark is right there, okay? 12 squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared. You can use the Pythagorean theorem if you want to. 12 squared plus 16 squared equals x squared, and crank out your math. You'll end up getting 20 on that. But if you know your p-triples, it just saves you some time. Okay, all right, this one is not a p-triple because of the decimals right there. But let's go ahead and do our Pythagorean theorem right there. And then crank that out, subtract out, and hey, we get a perfect square. So x equals 6. So that's what our question mark is, is 6. All right, find the perimeter of each polygon. Assume lines are tangent, okay? I'm just going to do one of them, you guys. There, I could do, they're all the same right here. Okay, so, so I see this whole length is 14.9, this whole length is 17.3, and then this little guy is 4.9. Well, these two tangent segments right here, if this is 4.9, that's 4.9 right there. Okay, so if I take off 4.9 from the whole length, that'll get me this length right here is 10, okay? And then so if this is 10, this side over here is 10, okay? Which makes this piece, the rest of that, so it's 7.3, okay? All right, and then that makes the other one 7.3. So here's my triangle right there, and then the perimeter is going to be the sum of all of those, and I get 44.4. Okay, so what we did is we um, they give you pieces and you just got to kind of go around and puzzle piece that baby together and it should be work out okay. All right, so find the angle measure indicated. Assume lines which appear to be tangent are tangent, okay? All right, so we need to find this angle right here. I know this is a right angle right here because of the tangent right there, okay? And then we got this straight line right here. Straight lines are 180, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the, the rest of the supplement of the 144 from this to get this straight line of 180 right there. So that angle right there is 36, okay? Because 36 and 144 equals 180. Okay, now look, these two radiuses are equal. These radii are equal right there, okay? So um, since these radii are equal, then this base angle equals this base angle. Remember that? The base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent, so that's 36 right there. 
All right, now let's look at this whole triangle right here, okay? That whole triangle is this guy right there. Okay, so there's the 36 right there. There's that question mark right there. And then uh, the right angle is that 90 right there. So triangle sum theorem, they add up to 180. So this plus this plus this is 180. And then we go ahead and subtract and we get uh, 54 right there. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so here, we have, uh, this is a circumscribed angle on the outside right there where there are tangents right there. Well, the circumscribed angle and the associated uh, central angle right here are supplements of each other. So if I take that from 180, 152, that's going to tell me I get 128 right there. All right, now, this radius is the same as that radius. They're both radii of a circle right there, okay? So that means those base angles are equal. So then I'm going to put another question mark right there. These question marks are the same. So question mark plus question mark plus 128 for this triangle right there is 180 right there. Okay, so we have two of the question marks. is, um, And then I subtracted 128 from both sides. And I uh, got 52, so we divide it by 2 now. We get the question mark to be 26 degrees right there. All right. All right, so let's do one more of these, you guys. So solve for x. Okay, so these tangent segments from the same external point right here are congruent. So 7x plus 2 equals 8x right there. So subtract 7x, we get x equals 2. Okay, this was not needed. That's just extraneous information. We don't need that right there. Okay, it's there to trick you. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that is your assignment. And then here's the problems coming up. So you're going to have to pause for that. And then here's the first four problems. I'll give you a minute to pause. And then here's the next four. Okay, and the next. Okay, hopefully you're pausing. Okay, here's the next uh, two, because it goes with these directions right here, with those directions, find the perimeter, okay. And then um, uh, here's the next four. Okay, here's the next four. And uh, the next four. And the next four, and I think there's 32 of them, so there's the last two right there. All right, you guys, take care.